on how they're going to approach this game. Looking like um looking like it's gonna be a Lindus though. Yeah. Since it's gonna be a Lindus, goes to show three heroes will be doing a lot of pokes. Two heroes are there for the dive and the defense. Really good stuff. However, they're lacking quite a bit of mobility. And at the same time, here comes Weirao spotting out the Chobits. There is the snipe coming in from the Elsu, and Weirao just comes out. We should probably try to take something out of this. If Elsu can hit the snipe, Lindis could finish him off. Pretty smart play coming in from Evos right now, and this is allowing them to throw out all of the numbers and bully Evos away. But before those even happen, you can already see the rotations coming in. The heroes are separated. They're prioritizing different objectives now and now ka is here oh he got the stun up. he gets the kill oh. i mean yeah that was the only thing that they could have done to deny it which was still pretty cool they spot out we're out here and it seems like igp have made a little bit of stride to find the mistakes of evos the thing is now that start, starting this igp is getting a little bit more of their uh their resistance is up and running. It's going to be very difficult for them. But look at this. Two versus five. What is happening here? Lack like is actually forcing out Fall as well as Hans not to be able to get into this fight. They get to one. They get the two. And Y-Force as well as Polka get taken away. Well, again, they are not the kind of heroes that can easily rotate and control a particular side of the map. They're only there because they have the superior wave clear. They can make sure the waves don't come in. But if that doesn't happen, it's going to be hard for them to take these fights. I'll stop you now here because I am here. Look at that Polka coming out. Just using his ultimate there. They're using him as kind of like a nuclear device strapped around one of their carries. So that when they dive in, Lombard here. And now it's really flipped onto the side of IGP. It's not looking good at all. There's the sun coming out from Lack Lack. He wants somebody to be pinned down. And here is the pull in from the Omen. Oh no, fall into a bad position. Chobits comes in with a huge use onto this Earth Splitter. They go in wild. Get the top tier three. It's wow. looking to follow up. Dimus here. Does he have the ultimate? Wow. He actually does. He can rip it out if he so would have wanted to, but doesn't need it as the Omen KA into the front line does get decimated by the well, but the damage has been done. Here we are. Nexus exposed. Dame or Die rather has destroyed the mid tier three. And this is IGP, the Vietnamese squadron coming out from the wazoo in group or game number one. Thane is going to be the most likely last pick for IGP here. It means that they're just planning to counter, engage, or disengage completely. They're not going to pick the Ormar, but instead they're just going to try to push everyone back and dislocate all of the fights before anything happens that could cause this Murad to go wild. His teammates were already backing off and he was like, still, I'm going to try to contest. Now, this is good information from IGP. They know that this Grizzix is going to be gone for a few seconds. This is going to allow them to pressure the lanes. Uh, CC immunity. And you have somebody who can try to actually push people oh back. Never mind. God. Back to the fight here. Last hit by hands. Okay, never mind. He just went in for the last hit. Just to finish what I was saying there. You can actually push out the other entire team. And because, like, let's say Kilgroth has an anti-CC, he could just go in and be left out by his own teammates. But it seems like who's going to be left out? It's going to be Wiro. Wiro and Polka spotted. Turtle starting to get himself this uh, effective well this effective crick neck they're gonna be diving fall he's just a three versus one i don't think he's gonna be able to escape but nice he play. does have you know the dodge as well as the flicker to be get over, be able to get over the wall so much is happening around the map they should have been in control in the early game but they did not utilize oh, that oh, 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 and oh my god did you see that igp's chovit smacked it down with the ultimate they are going to have an even harder time, especially if just like that. Dime will go in without a, you know, without a moment's notice. If he knows he can take the fight, he will take it. You're onto the side. Amazingly. There's a temporal turbulence coming from the Murad, but oh my goodness, Chobits actually positioning them. This is what I'm talking about. When a Thane can position properly, his teammates can follow up easily. Now, Y-Force is in no man's land. He basically tries to run away, but the shurikens from the Shinobi Master hones in onto the fish man and well you're gonna be seeing it man 
Chobits ran away with his dash. I thought that if maybe his opponent was a little bit closer to him, he could have actually delivered one of them into the embracing hands of his teammates. But with that in mind, it seems like IGP have begun to start out the dark side. They're going to try to actually steal this, but they cannot. A bit too far from Emo's side here. IGP Chobits is actually onto the side, forcing them out of the fight there. They've lost Poka already, but come here, come hither. It's going to be KA with the Florentino pinning his sights onto Poka. And he is down. Fall is down. Hans is down. Weera comes in from the get-go. Does get slowed, but nobody will be able to... But you have to take note, there's a lot of AoE that is going to be pumped out here by IGP. KA is actually in a really weird spot, but this is a 2 versus 5. Florentino can actually beat them out because he does have that sustainability to be able to do so. Hans, though, coming in by his only lonesome as the Richter chasing onto Lath like he finally gets it. But this is still the numbers advantage into the side of Evos. Nice ultimate coming in from Chobit. Not enough, though, but here comes Turtle onto the side. A little bit too far. Cannot dive in onto anybody. Maybe he knows Hans is on that brush. Could be big but they do push him away and evos from it looked like to have been a pretty bad situation he is going to fall off hard especially once igp takes notice hey ka what you oh! doing the shield the shield Ooh! hans is there he got it richter for the plays richter is the victor and here there comes evos Turn they're off. swinging back oh, at it again they get the one they get the wild. second here comes we activating the temporal turbulence and it seems like evos have shown the fangs of the saber tooth tiger he has the crowd control, yes, but this is a KG. This is a Murad. They're Hans forcing it. Away. They're forcing it. Hans oh. is actually low. There's no more damage for Evos. Oh, oh no! Damage. Everything just kind of falls down. How did Hans take that much damage? Backline and force IGP back. If they can do that, the rest of the members of Evos can slowly pick them off one by one. Hans is doing really good, so that's all they need to work on right now. But it's playing very very bad because they're going into separate skirmishes and we are already dead hans making oh, plays yet again but oh no, my god chobits chobits what i i my brain cannot comprehend the galaxy brain plays that of chobix the 200 iq ultimate he smacked down his sword of justice and basically handed the game to his team igp1 off of support last hitting the freaking victor that is a 2 and oh oh look what the okay show me the eyes i see you oh